Right, streams up a little bit early. So <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit boring to start with. Feel free to comment. Hello, Sub Zero. How are you liking my alien head? What I like about the alien head is you can actually put it on over the top of the armour. Because normally when you equip certain kind of headgear, it, it, it unequips the helmets and face guards. And uh, this one doesn't do that. Which is kind of funny. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to do. I'm kind of doing a bit of a sound check here, so uh, let me know if um, you can hear me okay. Come on now, don't be shy. <laughs> We've got a bit of a, I think there's a bit of a time delay. <clears throat> I really don't have the greatest connection, so sorry that the uh, quality isn't as good as my videos that I put on YouTube. music really great I'll play some guitar for you in a minute till uh, 6 o'clock MA time see how you like that All right I'm just going AFK a second I need to get a drink otherwise I'm going to dehydrate and that would be bad because I would have to throw myself off the building earlier. Yeah, beer's okay uh, until the alcohol actually kicks in and then it dehydrates you too much.
Yeah, I said I'd play some guitar. I'm not very good. <laughs> Oh dear, I give up. I need a bit more practice and the guitar's out of tune. We're winning already! What time is it? <clears throat> We've got ages to go, so you got 15 minutes of me playing the guitar badly. I would say uh, taking requests, but I only know about three songs and they're all Spanish influenced, so don't bother. <laughs> So have you guys been in EU today or watching from from work? Excuse me, I'm just clicky clicky. Oh, a bit of typing. Well, there's quite a few of you watching now. Welcome all. Don't be shy. Say hello in the chat. For those of you who have joined late, any guesses on where I am? Oh no, that was a that was a fail. There we go. <laughs> Try and guess now. <laughs> Let's get rid of these. Bye bye.
Ah, yes, but where on Rocktropia specifically? And if I get an unlimited ring, guess who's keeping that? Yeah, it's uh it is in Zob Hatton. <laughs> no, there's no there's no hills around here. Eight minutes to go. You know this is going to be a massive disappointment to you all. I'm just going to open boxes and there's just going to be pills and universal ammo inside. A bunch of rubbish, rubbish pets and some pet name tags. I think the piece de la resistance is me chucking myself off this very high place. Which will be become clear later on. Uh, it's not actually a tune. Um, well, some well, one one bit was. The rest of it is just me mucking about. I do quite like the Spanish influence stuff. I just wish I could actually play it much better than I can. It's just. Um, you just play around with the, I think rascuedo is the term. You just kind of flare your fingers across the strings and you get this sound. And you can do a lot with that. So I can rascuedo here and then thumb down. And thumb back up. And then just, uh, I don't know which scale this is. and then a load of mishits, so it sounds awful. So sorry about that. So, have any of you been looting well in Entropia Universe today? I think I know the answer, but <laughs> I'm asking the question anyway. Well, that is the Entropia way.
Yeah, well, I think what happens um, if you hoff, you get a decent sized hoff. I mean, um, uh, please forgive me if I say your name wrong. I mean, it's is it Ash Shafron or is it just Shafron with AS in front? I don't, I don't know what how that goes. Um, but if you if you get more than a K in loot, um, what you can find is, well, it can go either way. You can continue doing well because you're about to get a decent size half, you know, something like 5K plus. But more often than not, what happens is things, ah, so I wasn't too far wrong. Um, yeah, what, what happens is things just die off epically. And what, the best tactic is there is basically just go back to basics you know if you if your level is around let's say your level is around hunting ambulimax to marcimax let's say you're around there um you get that kind of hoff you really need to come back to i don't know mid level argonauts or something like that and just kind of grind a little bit and and just kind of get through that really crap dip that's going to happen right after a half. I mean, I could be saying this to you, uh, and you probably know all of this, but I guess I'm saying it for everyone's benefit. Um, I actually uh, used to go out with someone, and they had a pearl. And my god, that thing was... That thing was heavy. Um, it's it, it was the pearl kind of Gibson look-alike. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was in a bad state of fettle. It needed a lot of work. The uh, the nuts were um, were in a bad state of repair, which meant that it needed more work than it was worth doing. So I, I think it's still in a bag in a loft somewhere, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't know of its fate, which is a shame, really. I think the thing, you know, as a love of labour, you would just spend the money on something like that and just keep hold of it because a pearl guitar isn't um, certainly an old Gibson replica um, pearl guitar from, I don't know, late 70s, early 80s. You should really be looking after and, and uh, keeping in good nick, but not necessarily using like that because it it's, it wasn't that great to to play with but it's a guitar nonetheless and with the right amp and whatnot you know it was pretty good um you know you get each guitar with an amp has its own characteristics and i guess if you want to play around and experiment experiment and stuff you should look after these things one minute ish to go. I'm really sorry if this is disappointing, and uh, sorry for inflicting my really poor guitar playing on you. Let's put that down. So where are we all from? Are we in the UK? Are we in Europe? The US? Australia even? Where are we? Hi, Angel. So, US, you are what? Just about through your morning over there, aren't you? <laughs> UK. Right, I think, uh, well, we're past due actually, so I'm going to, oh look, I've fallen asleep. I'm going to get things going. Hi, Dire Jack. Right. Here's the bad boys. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to do this. One p.m., not three a.m. No, no, I was saying uh, about mid-morning. Um, I didn't think as late as one p.m., but okay. Uh, I was thinking more like eleven o'clock. <coughs> Good luck. Yeah, I I kind of need it, but uh, I I just give up on having good luck within EU. And I've opened six hundred of these things already, and nothing. So I'm not ex I'm not I'm not going to hold my breath, basically. But I hope this is in some way entertaining for everyone. And uh, you know, I'm going to try and respond to everyone in the chat as we go along because uh, at the end of the day, that's probably going to be the more interesting part of this. Any questions you got? Just feel free to ask. And let's just talk about some random crap while we're at it. Okay, here's the first one. Yay! Universal ammo, I can use that. And a dog. Yes. <laughs> I, I've got a load of those dogs and cats and thingies and I need to go to the stables and convert them to essence, I guess. Thanks for your fingers crossed, by the way, guys. Or should I say guys and gals, just in case. Wow! All ammo. To be honest, I prefer it when it's mostly ammo, because I've got such a backlog of pills that um, I'm, I'm not going to get through them anytime soon. Look at that, we've had pets in quite a few of them already. The last 300, I, it took ages for the first pet to arrive. Oh, quite a few there. Yeah, the usual rubbish. More pills. <clears throat> so has anyone in the chat managed to to loot anything other than the usual crap? You know, any uh, rare pets or even unlimited rings of whatever variant. Another cat. So, typically no rings yet, um, I think uh, something about s like six, six limited rings maybe in the last batch, about the same again in the b previous batch. The boxes, yeah, uh, yeah, no, I've, I feel you, Dyer Jack, I feel you. Um, as Shafroth... Um, yeah, I would say, to be honest, the boxes are, I, I would guess, you either want um, your deposit value as paid. Oh, there we go, there's the first limited ring. <clears throat> you either want your deposited value um, as, as cash that you can kind of work with, or if you're a hunter, what you know this is a tempting option because i you know i hunt most of the time i do mine i haven't done a lot of mining lately um but i do mine um the reason why i haven't been mining lately is because i've had all this universal ammo to ammo to cycle through but the thing is if if you're going to cycle through whatever peds you're going to put in another limited ring there 
um, yeah, if you're going to cycle through the peds you were going to put in anyway, then why not increase your chances of looting something interesting or new? Um, so from that perspective, uh, you know, doing the classic, uh, the classified strongbox method is, you know, it's a realistic method to kind of get ped in to Entropia Universe. However, the unfortunate thing is you are losing a proportion of it to all of these pills and you know unfortunately we can't at least the last time I tried oh, another ring the last time I tried um, you can't TT them um, we can't trade them and, and whatnot so you're stuck with all of this TT value in something that's basically going to take ages to to cycle through and you know they they don't actually redeem you any any significant tt value i mean you could argue that um you know if you use them you're going to gain benefits and those benefits are and going to end up in a tt reward in terms of being more efficient or you know being able to deal more damage or whatever which i guess transpires to efficiency anyway so you know you could say that you are getting it back that way but unfortunately it's a not very real way of seeing the return on them um so you can't help but feel that you've basically lost a bunch of ped to stuff that is just going to sit in your inventory for a long time. Uh, hi, Burana, eighty-eight point. <laughs> That's how I how I read that. <laughs> is that a font? <laughs> A red one, a red one, this could be special. No, it's a Y2. I don't know, is a Y2 a, a rarer loot? It seemed to me that the colours kind of denoted some level of rarity in the thing that you were actually getting, but... I just don't know. I've not until you do thousands of these things. I don't think you can really come up with a a real kind of um, rule to determine what what you're actually getting. Um, can anyone tell me whether a Y2 is is a you know is a rare pill? And welcome from Portugal. <laughs> Where's these Y2s? Oh, jeez, it puts the right mess in here. It would be nice if it just automatically stacked these, but it, it just doesn't. What's this Y2 do? I suppose that's pretty good, actually. 18 increased health of 18 points. Increased regeneration of... Yeah, shy of just shy of... Uh, two-thirds of um, 100%. Uh, acceleration. And increases your speed as well. So eh, it's kind of okay that. Would you agree? Or am I being generous? I'll put it back on the screen for you, Dark... Dark... Darko Rabbit. Is it Darko Rabbit? Here it is. Tell you what, I'll pin that one and put this one back up. You got it now. I'll uh, I'll get rid of that now. Yeah, I I got that impression, Dire Jack. I did. Um, unfortunately, it's only typically been pills. There we go. There's the first pet name tags. Uh, 
I mean, I've got so many loot collection pills. I, I don't think I'm going to use them all up this side of uh, Christmas. Next Christmas. In fact, I haven't used any yet. Because I, I never know how long I'm going to be on. And, you know, to consume a pill, I need to know, you know, how long I'm going to be on for to start putting these things in my mouth. It's, uh, how long do they last for? What is it? 4,500 seconds. Uh, God, what is that? What is that? I'm just clutching at straws here. 4,500, that's... I just... A day at work, and I am absolutely baked. I cannot do any mental arithmetic at all. 75 minutes. I was thinking about 90, so I wasn't too far off. Right, let's merge all of this crap. Um, well, Burana, welcome to Entropia Universe, then. It does... Yeah, you're right, actually. It does pause the pills, doesn't it? I keep forgetting these fundamental little factettes. Uh, there's the eight. Okay. I don't know why that's ended up down there. Uh, back to the job. Uh, what you have to say, you you find the game strange. What you've been used to different, um, you know, different games. Uh, is that aimed at Burana or me? Because uh, if you don't know who I am, I've I've been doing something wrong. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Burana. Lots of people play Entropia Universe from around the world, and don't just don't forget it takes so much learning. Yeah, I mean, I did some back in 2007, which you can see on my YouTube channel. Uh, so if you look up Blade of Akaya on YouTube you'll find my old stuff but the, the better videos are Pig Benes's um, and they're on the Entropia Universe official um, YouTube channel so give that a look up because his, his tutorials are much more modern um, so they're probably a lot more um, relevant uh, I've got a couple of videos about some stuff within Entropia um, from now, so those are probably um, more relevant. Okay, that's the first 50 done. No rares. So, Lady Jennifer Art, who was that question at? Oh, I see. You've already been uh, stalking me. That's good. That's good. <laughs> no, see more crap. Uh, I'm sorry that this is going to be... <coughs> For the most part, a bit mundane to watch. I mean, hopefully we'll we'll see uh, a rare pet. That would be kind of nice. I I I'm really not going to hold my breath on anything, especially an unlimited ring of any kind of variant. Because if I can't get one in 600, another 300 is not going to uh, not going to tip the balance, is it? And to be honest, the amount that have been looted already, we're getting on for pretty much done. Yeah, 
There's one unique ring, but there is not a hope in hell I will loot that. Just get that thought out of your head. See, another limited one. Um, okay, so Burana, uh, the rumour is true, um, however, how much is completely down to how much you put in. So, and I don't mean how much money you put in, I mean how much time and effort. Yes, if you put in a whole bunch of money, you can do a whole bunch of high level stuff eventually. Um, and if you're doing the high level stuff, they have the potential to loot bigger amounts of, uh, of money. The real art of the game is to do as much as you can for as little money as possible. That is the real game. And it's not an easy one. At the end of the day, there is no such thing as free money. Um, so you have to work at it and if you do all of the free stuff at the end of the day it's more cost effective to go and do a day job and then put some money in if, if that's <laughs> if you really enjoy the game but that's you know that said it is possible it is possible to kind of build up a balance and then trade off of that or do some stuff cycle that yeah, just that, Luca. It is. It is a bit of a. You know, certain activities are way more slot machine-like than others. <clears throat> um, the lower level hunting. It's. I don't think it is a slot machine. I think it's a case of. You know, doing things economically, trying not to spend too much money, trying not to incur too much decay cost. Um, and then kind of cycling the pegs you've got and if you if you do that economically the difference between what you put in of, of a hunt compared to what you got out of the hunt you can make up by having a, a session sweating or kind of you know queuing up at the oil the new oil rig Um, Darko Rabbit, the, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, um, sorry for the pause there, I'm just trying to read as well, uh, I've only got, uh, one HD monitor at the moment, because my partner has, has nicked me other one, <laughs> so I'm having to swap between, um, windows a little bit, I can kind of read some of it, but not all of it. Anyway, to answer your question, do I feel like I've gained anything? Uh, in, uh, in a simple answer, no. But if I was fortunate to have looted a rare pet or a, an, an unlimited ring, then I think I would have a very different answer for you. And I think that the answer is very subjective. Um, my entire experience within this system is that I am not open to loot decent stuff. This is just something I've come to accept. Um, so at the end of the day my mission is to get by with as little uh, loss as possible for the most part. I, I, yeah, okay, so I'm doing a couple of these boxes and, you know, it's a bit of a punt and it's, it's a new and interesting feature to Entropia Universe, you know, rubbish, um, <clears throat> so for that reason that it's new, it's, you know, it's nice to have a little try on these things, I think, you know, I wish I was in Whining Skeptic's position where I could have uh, logged on a bit earlier, snagged myself a bunch of the early boxes. Um, I, I just couldn't. I didn't have the, you know, I was at work for most of the day and um, when I got home I had other priorities. 
which you know a lot of people do have and unfortunately because of those priorities uh, I feel I probably lost out on a bit of a chance there like I said early on in the uh, in the stream you know if you've got two ways of getting uh, you know ped in the system now you've got this way and you've got the standard way and the standard way is obviously the most efficient way however if you like to have a bit of a chance at something and you know possibly even a chance at something very special like um, uh, was it Grotto? Was that his name? Grotto that, that uh, looted the unique Iapetus ring? Um, you know that's very special at the end of the day. Unique items in Entropia Universe are truly the rarest things to behold. Yeah, Gotto43. I'm not sure what his avatar name is. <clears throat> so, uh, we've done... So we've done nearly a hundred now. Now, very interesting. I'd like to say thank you for all watching. Um, this is the busiest my stream has ever been because, unfortunately, you know, when you're just doing a normal hunt. Um, yeah, just an Ari's ring. Yeah, great. That's that. That's the hundred done. Um, yeah, when you're just doing normal hunting, it's uh, it's not really that fun to watch. And I really wish there was. Um... <laughs> Thanks, Vladisan. <laughs> if only there were some cheerleaders jumping up and down. Anyway, um, yeah, if if there was some more kind of interesting event stuff going on, questy kind of stuff. That would be really cool streaming fodder. And I think a lot of stuff, a lot of other games have aspects to them that are kind of more interesting to watch than just grinding. And unfortunately, Entropy Universe has a lot of grinding. You know, when you when you go out for a hunt, you take a predefined amount of money uh, worth of ammo out with you, and you essentially just grind that out. And uh, it's even less interesting to watch people mining. So the only time it's really interesting is when someone actually loots stuff. Um, and unfortunately, there's few people. In Entropy Universe, that can guarantee that when they go out, they can loot decent stuff. And Mr. Jenna Star Mercury is, I say Mr., it's a bit kind of a oxymoron that, but um, <clears throat> he, he, you know, most of the time he does his streams, he gets decent loots. Now, he has so much skill and is able to do the toughest creatures imaginable. Um, you know, there are people that are even more skill, but bearing in mind that, um, to date, I, uh, I don't know if this is old information and whether that situation has changed, but I don't believe he's ever put a, a dime into the, into the system. Um, so that's pretty damn good going. But, like I said, you know, you can go out and you can watch him and... Even though he can hunt big end stuff and get some decent loots, it can be kind of boring to watch because there's no real point to it. There's no story, there's no, you know, uh, there's no kind of questy element to it that, that kind of makes it more interesting. Uh, that, is that rare? I don't think that one's rare. <laughs> Okay, right. Can we talk about how you started out in this game? What were you doing as a newbie and other stuff? Okay, that 
That was 10 years ago. Believe it or not. Here's a little story. I used to work with a couple of chaps. And they highlighted me to a news article on the BBC. And that news article was the fact that Club Never Die, or the asteroid, had been sold for, uh, what was it, 100,000 US dollars. And then, um, you know, off the back of that was uh, a load of text about, you know, what the system was like and what the aim of it was and that you could win real money and all the rest of it. And, uh, you know, the real game. I think even they summed it up back then that the real art of the game is is how you can do without, how well you can do without, you know, putting any money in or, or putting very little in. Otherwise, you're speculating to accumulate, like like um, John Never Die Jacobs did. So we three avid gamers saw this news article and thought, "Yeah, we'll have a crack at that. Let's see how we do." And it was from a gaming perspective, um, it was love at first sight, and. You know, I have played so many other games since I started this, and none of them, no matter what they are, none of them can compare to this. At all. Despite bugs, VU blues, um, you know, lag, the lag, don't forget the lag, uh, the use fails. You still can't beat that whole real cash economy element, and no one else has really managed to nail it like Mind Dark have. And I'm not going to sit here and evangelize about Mind Dark and their decisions and Entropy Universe and blah 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 blah, because other people will do that, and I just. I, the message I like to put across is that this system is here, this system is interesting, there is interesting stuff in here, it is forever, um, it's forever evolving, is the word I would use. As Marco would like to say, it's dynamic, um, I think that was a kind of narrow remark about the system, I think evolving is a better term. Um, it would be nice that to see better stuff implemented and, and you know things are a little more polished off. But at the end of the day, Mind Dark are a small studio compared to the likes of EA, Square Enix, um, you know, big players like that. Anyway, we saw this um, we saw this uh, system and we we got stuck in and just fell straight in love with it and we would spend a lot of time in here and I think I started I started at Port Atlantis and Port Atlantis back in those days was all yellow and uh, it had this arrival ship that you walked out of um, and right outside Port Atlantis was you know things like um, what were they? There was just Xarosaurs and Combibos. That was the only two mobs, I think. And that was what you sweat. And the you know the old sweat animation was in play then, so you had to kind of you had to kind of stand in front of the creature, and then you had to kind of concentrate, and it would make this kind of kind of noise where you were chanting away. Um, it was all a bit tribal. Um, and then you would have the sweat phase, and this horrible <laughs> noise would kind of go on, and this these green kind of circles would kind of go towards the mobs, and and that was the sweat process. Um, you wouldn't get um, the I think the lost targets stuff so much because you kind of sweat through other people to a point. Unless the creature got too far away from you. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There's the money shot. <laughs> I'm not 
sure that's entirely appropriate, but okay. Um, so, yeah, we used to kind of sweat our way around there and you kind of meet new people from around Europe and, and the States and it was just such such good fun and you know you ten years on you look back at it and you think actually you know what I just wish it was like that again I wish those old days were just here again I I could forego the the fancy graphics and all of that stuff because back in those days you didn't have so much lag and you know I guess one thing that you can never get back is that sense of wonderment the the sense of exploration because everything was new to you and it's just not new anymore you know aside from uh, a whole new planet opening up you just don't get that feeling anymore and the old music that used to play was just so much better it was so much on point and it was it was very kind of um, it was very sci-fi and now it kind of got I don't know it kind of got a bit poppy you know a bit mainstream the music and it just lost something it lost it lost its kind of uniqueness to Entropia which is why I like to kind of you know every now and then I'll put videos up on YouTube and I'll uh, you know I'll, I'll, I'll include some of the old music uh, yeah sorry I'm just reading your uh, your your comments <laughs> Yeah, five to ten boxes. Um, yeah, no, um, I don't know. I mean, you know, you could still do it. You could still get something decent. At the end of the day, if you're if you want a couple of pills to improve your avatar, um, then you know why not? Why not do? a bunch of boxes to get some universal ammo why not do that that's perfectly fine I think if you go in with an expectation you're going to have that amount of TT value to play with at the end of it pff, think again not gonna happen uh, sorry guys I'm not gonna be clicking on the links purely for the fact that I'm streaming and I don't want the sound to kind of cross pollinate so um, I'll keep the chat open hopefully I can um, I can look at those links later. Yeah, I'll try and do a summary as best I can at the end, right before I chuck myself off this this place, which no one's actually properly guessed yet. Um, okay, here's we're 150 boxes down, 150 to go. Um, so where was I? I was talking about the melancholy, and oh yeah, to you know to going back to that and using the old the old soundtracks and stuff I actually put together uh, a playlist on YouTube um, <clears throat> with well I actually called it uh, was it an Entropia Universe Melancholy and it's got a whole bunch of old school videos from back in the day that um, just make me look back and, and smile at the what I think were the good old days um, because there, there was this great community spirit um, and you know that just sense of wonderment I can't I, I guess I can't put that enough put that across enough uh, yeah I don't know why it thinks that's rare maybe that doesn't denote rareness I don't know <clears throat> so I I do encourage you to go and well a check out my channel and please subscribe because I need 500 subscribers before I can get a proper name which is retarded but okay um, but check out the melancholy list because you know those are fun those were fun times and we had a lot of fun back in those days now it feels I guess 
it feels a bit more job like you come on and you come in and you do your you do your grinding and then you then you leave again and um I think never dies really kind of you know trying to ca recapture that that stuff again because he's trying to reignite the champions league which you know was big back then and you know if you can participate in the champions league do it because it's a good bit of fun I, unfortunately i struggle to get solid enough time to come in and and do things like that and um you know it's you know that's just life i'm afraid <clears throat> now back in the day when i when i first started i, I started out with i think i started out with a TT sword, I think it was a TT sword I started out with, and I thought that would be that'd be a cool thing to do. Um, and then I think someone um, someone sold me a Jester D1, and this is back in the day where I Entropedia was around, but it, no one was really advertising it as strongly as as people do these days, um, and so. You know, we come into this thing, we have no idea what this stuff does and how economic it is. And so we start, you know, buying this stuff and it's just useless crap. And no one tells you that, <laughs> or very few people would tell you, actually, adjusted the ones just a load of rubbish. You should have just got a, an Apollo because you would be 1010 on it and far more economical. So. You know, there's there's mistake number one, and I remember going around, and I think in the end I got a decent amp because this this was back in the day where you could buy an Apollo with 1010 um, ability, and you could then slap the biggest amp you could find to an Apollo, and it became quite an effective tool. I mean, you could hunt uh, back in the back in those days. We used to hang around at Argus. That was th that was kind of my place. Um, I used to kind of just I wouldn't say lord it around there, but I just kind of used to have a lot of fun there. We used to have a lot of chat and discussion up there and muck about, and we used to go in the ring a lot up there. Um, but what you could do is go from there up to the Argus Beach, which which was north of there, and there was a load of corn and corn under corda or corns for short as I guess we all call them and um, I think they changed actually didn't they they got a bit more HP they became a little bit tougher I think but back in those days they weren't too difficult and an Apollo with an A105 was just was just perfect it was like having an IMK against you know bigger mobs like Aatrox Obviously not as economical or powerful or whatever, and not doing as much damage per second. But hey, yeah, that's uh, I'm I miss that, and I actually quite liked it in uh, when was it 2007, 2008 when they 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 made Argus, they changed it, and it was all red skies, and I really enjoyed that. I quite liked Argus when it looked like that. <clears throat> Because there was this kind of like, well, things are changing, and perhaps they're changing for the better. And Argus looks really cool, and armor started to look really cool because it, um, the graphic stuff started to get a bit better at that point because that you'd start to get reflections off the armor, and and things like uh, face masks were coming in that you could, you know, like the, I, I, it's the evil face mask that I used to have. And that looked really cool. Not everyone could see it because, I mean, you know, not everyone is fortunate enough to kind of get the most most ultimate PC. And back in those days, Entropia, uh, another crap ring. I say crap. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's just limited. I really hope they release this kind of ring kind of manipulation system that they were talking about sometime soon because I've got so many of these rings that I need to do something with. Anyway, um, yeah, back in those days, a lot of people were running Entropia um, with pretty poor hardware. And 
it was quite sad when they did make the move to CryEngine because unfortunately a lot of those people just fell by the wayside because you know that they're, they're coming from backgrounds where you know they just don't have the available funds to just start upgrading their machines left right and center just to keep up with games and, and it was really sad because you'd see people around everywhere and then all of a sudden you didn't see them anymore because they just couldn't run it anymore so that that was unfortunate I guess you know anyone who's in the chat that knew people back in those days would as, as probably no doubt noticed that some of those people just don't log on anymore and and that's probably for that reason other reasons are because people kind of they they kind of hit way above their weight and then wonder why they've lost a lot of money um, you know without kind of looking in the mirror first and, and uh, inspecting their own actions and, and that's an unfortunate sad fact about Entropia so um, it's kind of good to talk about the old days I hope uh, I'm not boring you all to tears and unfortunately these boxes are boring me to tears but that was kind of the aim here I think um, for me it's quite um, I mean the, the two chaps I used to uh, knock about with that I started Entropia with they, they don't they don't participate anymore because um, I guess the appeal kind of went away and I know one of them couldn't really run it anymore and um, you know th their focus is on you know on on gaming anymore as a whole so um, you know uh, why why keep logging into something if you've got no real interest in gaming anymore people do move on and people do kind of change their focus in life and that's fair enough it is uh, it is also sad when you you kind of uh, oh that's 200 down 200 down we got the last hundred to go yeah so you know Scalman I don't think he really logs on anymore yeah dub doesn't log on anymore um, snowflake doesn't log on anymore. Recent casualty was um, Seek or um, Xerox. Uh, it depends on uh, where you know him from. Um, he was in uh, Art of War as well for a bit, and um, he recently kind of departed. But still, where people are going, there are people, new people coming online. And it's uh, you know it's nice to see more people coming on, and it's also great when you go to places like Camp Icarus on um, Calypso. Um, you know there are quite a few new people um, knocking about, and it's great to see. It's uh, it's definitely great to see, and the the new player experience is so much better than than it was back in the old days in terms of kind of how you learn things. I think it had to change the new the new player experience had to change because there is a vast amount more in Entropia Universe than there was back when it was Project Entropia. You know, there's so much more to learn now. It's funny, after I was playing for a, not very long at all, uh, I, I remember going out and uh, I was hunting at Ithaca and I went south south of Ithaca and I, I had a... Uh, what armour did I have? Uh, I think I'd snagged myself some Vigilante well before I was really, you know, supposed to be using something like that. I was very much a noob. Here we go, here's another ring. Um... And uh, I remember hunting down there with whatever I had at the time. It wasn't particularly great. And uh, I remember someone 
going down there next to me and they had they had you know what was basically you know a mini gun and um, I thought that's awesome I've got to get myself one of those so I looked at it um, I didn't speak to the person or anything I didn't have a scanner so I didn't scan them and I thought right I know what it looks like I'm gonna go and find one on the auction and I, I did but it turned out what they were using was an adjusted Ravenger and what I bought was not the adjusted Ravenger and the two are miles and miles apart and I, I remember <laughs> I remember going down there with this this new gun I'd bought and thought this doesn't seem as fast as the other guys <laughs> and I realized I'd wasted a, a whole bunch of ped on this thing and I probably lost a load of money selling it on again because it just wasn't very good wasn't very good at all and I remember um, buying a deluxe fap um, thinking wow I can get a hundred heal out of this thing <laughs> and then I went on one hunt and had to repair it afterwards and I thought oh my god what have I done needless to say that went back on the auction so if if there's anything I can do is impart some advice and say always always check item statistics on Entropedia before you buy always and if you don't know how to use Entropedia ask someone Yeah, I I think Mind Dark are just not they're not being kind to me. But like I said, I wasn't holding my breath. So did anyone else fall for the deluxe fap um trick then? <laughs> See, the funny thing was, the deluxe, the swine deluxe, yeah, it's not very economical at all, um, but that's an awesome weapon. What's this? Oh, Y2, yay. And, uh, they're not bad, actually, those. Uh, a strong box is, what, a dollar? I think it's a dollar. <laughs> Ask someone how to use the www. No, but I mean, what I meant was um, that you know, t ask someone how what information is important because you know you come into this, you you could talk about DPS, you could talk about, talk about damage per peck and all the rest of it, but you know, not everyone knows what all that is. So, it's uh, I guess it's important to get a decent mentor um, when you're in Entropia as well. Um, it's worth doing because obviously at the end of the mentor experience you get free stuff. And everyone likes free stuff, right? Um, the adjusted pixie armor is worth doing mentorship all day long. You know, if you don't go out and buy some armor then just you know just do your mentorship because that armor is it's just one of the best in the game because you know you, you can complete mentorship on such a small budget and at the end of it you get armor that I can actually go and hunt what did I hunt in them I hunt, I think I went out and hunted Marsimex in it so if I can hunt in Marsimex, hunt Marsimex in adjusted pixie with some plates, 
Um, it's pretty damn good armour. So, worth doing. Getting a bit of lag. Probably because of the stream, but hey. <laughs> I know you're only playing, mate. I know. But I guess I did need to qualify a little bit. So, ha have you been finding the loot interesting? Because uh, I sure as hell have not been. <laughs> right, I guess uh, I'm, I've run out of things to... Uh, Kind of offer up to say so um, feel free to ask more questions I'm quite happy to answer anything I feel I can answer adjusted I don't know what um, what you do to get adjusted musker um, that's uh, that's an Arcadia thing isn't it right By the way, this is the last 50, so impending doom is upon us. Oh, I see. Um... Are the stats the same as Adjusted Pixie then? Uh, I think they are, aren't they? God, another kitty. Where's my rare pet? Oh, that's right. You've given them all to everyone else. <laughs> I hope you didn't mean something sweat there. <laughs> um, thanks for the uh, compliment. <clears throat> uh, eight, eight, eight. Eight, then three. Yeah, the uh, pixie's a bit different to that, isn't it? Yeah, I, I've not done any of that in CSGO, to be honest. I'm from the... Well, I used to play Counter-Strike back when it was, like, beta. And, uh, yeah, uh, you know, CSGO is... Uh, it's a different beast. Different beast altogether. Anyway, thanks for your nice comment about the stream. Uh, it's unfortunate. I can't kind of do this all the time. Uh, it annoys the other half. So, um, you know, thankfully, she's not here at the moment. So I can chatter away. <laughs> yeah, I knew you meant sweet. <laughs> stats are a bit different. Yeah, they, they would be with those kind of stats. Um, I think the Pixie is, is definitely a good one. Definitely a good one. Oh dear. 36 to go. So did anyone guess where I actually was? Where am I exactly? I think we already nailed that I'm in Zomhattan somewhere.
No guesses? Um, I've had a few limited uh, rings there, game over PTP, um, but yeah, nothing to write home about. I'll do a quick summary at the end. Plenty of these kitties and dogs. They'll all be going to the, uh, the stable later. In fact, I've got all the ones from the other boxes as well that I need to get rid of. I think it's... I, I'm going to um, start a thread up on uh, Planet Calypso Forum, but I'm interested to know where people open their boxes. Because so far I've done everything away from Planet Calypso. And uh, I'm interested to know where people have looted decent stuff. Whether they've been on Calypso, whether they've been on other planets like Arcadia. Uh, I did 300 on Cyrene and s this would be coming up to 600 on uh, Rocktropia. Yeah, another limited ring. I think the annoying thing is that you can't do anything with them afterwards. You can't, you can't TT them. You can't reclaim their value. Uh, mobs for this game. Um, I think the, I think the point. The point was to to kind of reinforce the the notion that you are in a different world, you are somewhere else. I think if uh, if you if you had mobs that looked too close to uh, to earthen mobs, then you know you wouldn't get that sense of I am somewhere completely different. Another dog. Uh, I'm not going to comment on whether the devs were uh, were on drugs. <laughs> yeah, no comment. I think I I find it quite funny. Have you, I don't know if anyone's ever seen that Spanish cartoon production. I think it was Spanish. Um, called Bernard the Bear. Has anyone seen that? Anyone seen Bernard the Bear? Well, that's it. That was the last one. Oh dear. Oh dear. I am not impressed. Uh, Bernard the bear. He's a he's a polar bear. But basically, the sound that that Bernard the Bear makes sounds exactly like a mob in Entropia Universe. Can you name that mob? Anyone. <laughs> 
and I'll tell you in a minute. Anyway, uh, it's a quick rundown of what we got. Uh, I had like 60 units of universal ammo before we started, I think. Although the numbers don't really add up. Okay, I'm just going to discount that anyway. So there's uh, 2,300 ped ish. Uh, yeah, C can I make the sound? Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> no one going to guess the mob? Have a guess. Yeah, so 2,300 universal ammo. Uh, let's go over here and we have 195 ped of Neurostim H which gives us heal per second so for 20 seconds it heals us 10 points per second so that's 200 heal is that right? is my maths right? <laughs> no, not dust bleater, not a snable snot. Uh, MG Cipher, no rare items at all, so the ultimate end is going to be soon. I'm just quickly running through what I got here. Um, so yeah, that's that's that one. Uh, we got 85 of loot collection pill adjusted they are accordingly worth 42 ped 50 but you can't redeem any of that value and we figured out that was 75 minutes of auto loot up to 30 meters away we have 32 neuro stim bees which should give us increased health of 10 points for 300 seconds which isn't very long at all increased regeneration for the same period so instead of four heal per what was it four heal every 10 seconds is it something like that we're getting eight I think that's right no it wasn't a Fosavix keep the guesses coming 200 heal for one ped is too much um, yeah, well, the problem is how you use it. Um, can you, can you do this? Yes, you can. I did not know that. Okay, I guess that makes it easy. Burden makes sound like the new panda pets. I, I haven't really heard the new panda pets. I haven't even spawned my own. So, I don't know what they sound like, but that wasn't the mob I was thinking of. Right, to give you a clue, uh, and it's not it's not an Argonaut, to give you a clue, it's an old time mob. So it's a mob from at least 2005 and before. The heel stacks, well that's interesting to know. I, I really should use some of these things, but I've got so many. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Um, okay. Neurostim wise, we have 150 ped. 150 ped of these things locked up value. Um, but we're getting increased health of 12 points for 1800 seconds. What is 1800 seconds? Is that 20 minutes? No. That can't be right. I don't know. Someone can tell me. I, I can't be bothered to do the maths. I really can't. I'm so despondent at not getting a rare item. The the, the depression is setting in now. No, not Das Bleater. Not Aatrox. No, not Aatrox. Yeah, it does suck there was no unlimited ring. Unfortunately, I think my account has got a problem. I think... I think I can't loot decent stuff. Um, just a feeling. I think I think there's a flag on my account. <laughs> I might have been rude to support at some point in the past. 
so Neurostim A's, we've got 26 of these, 26 paired, faster reload of 14% and 33% acceleration. That's kind of that's kind of handy. That's kind of handy. Unfortunately, it's more handy when you've got a slow weapon because uh, yeah, it does. It doesn't help. It doesn't help being rude to someone at all. I can guarantee you that because uh, unfortunately, I've never looted anything. Uh, you know, apart from where it's kind of scripted or it's you know like the um, FAP um, NPC at Monopolis. I've never looted a rare item. You know, one that kind of flags up as being rare. You know, those idols are rare, but to be honest, you're guaranteed to get one of those after doing the uh, temples. Uh, not Hoglo, no. Um, not Hoglo. So, anyway, uh, Neurostim A's. That's those. What are these? We have six Y2s. Neurostim Y2. 18 health for 1800 seconds. Uh, increase regeneration nearly well a two thirds of a hundred percent and a third um, increase of acceleration, which uh, I pointed out earlier anyway no it 's not a long tooth uh, not a long tooth. Anyone who deposits is losing um, actually well uh, these days maybe maybe uh back uh, a long time ago no not the case at all because um, I put in a bunch of money I lost a bunch of money and I did a load of trading and uh, was quite fortunate with inflation and ended up taking out more than what I put in so um, you know uh, you know it was possible probably still is possible it's <laughs> Argonaut for Marco's sake uh, Marco is a lost cause, I'm afraid, people. It's uh, that's. Wait, what's the question? Bernard the Bear, the sound. Bernard the Bear sounds like a mob from old time Entropia. Uh, so, Neurobiotic Booster A1, one milligram, thirty six hundred seconds. Isn't that that's uh, that's thirty minutes, right? Uh, ten percent increased skill gain. Um, that's that's kind of handy one. Only sixty-seven pecs. To be honest, I don't think any of these these pills should be, you know, more value than these kind of things. To be honest, um, because it's just locking up too much ped value. But you know, that's just my opinion, and I think my opinions also help lock out my loot. So there we go. Uh, 15 ped of Neurostim C um, for 15, so uh, one one ped each. This 25 increased health. That's quite substantial, um, and 200% increased regeneration. This is one to use for sure. Uh, no, it's not a Daikiba. Not a Daikiba. But you're getting closer. You're getting closer. Right. We have 21 Neurostimex. They're worth 105 ped for 21 of them. What are we getting for 105 ped? We are getting 1800 seconds of 12% faster reload, 1 percentage point focused blow and 12% increased critical damage. Um, Snable Snot? No. Snark Snot? No. You're going to kick yourself. You are going to kick yourself. Uh, we have seven pecs worth for seven Neurobiotic Booster A3 5 milligrams. Not Combibo. I know that noise. Uh, increased skill gain. This is a long time. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put that in the calculator because I can't remember. Eighteen hundred 
you know, by 60 because I'm just crap at mental arithmetic. That is 300 minutes. 300 minutes of increased skill gain of 30%. That for 7 peck. What the hell? This, this thing should be worth a lot of pez. Not the others. This. That's obviously provided it actually gives you 30% increased gain, of course. Not Armax. Not ch Chirpy. Chirpy? You have no idea what the bear sounds. Look, go to YouTube, put in Bernard the Bear, and listen. <laughs> It'll take you five seconds. We have 300 minutes of 20% increased skill gain for one peck. And we have... That's even... Uh, Okay, uh, I just sorry. I know we've done three thousand six hundred before, and now I can't remember what that was. So six hundred minutes. Oh, why? Why am I so stupid tonight? Six hundred minutes of a hundred percent skill gain. Two peck. Two peck. What is that about? It's like their ped values are just upside down. Completely upside down. Weird. Uh, so that's all the pills. Uh, no, it's not all the pills. Not all the pills at all. We've got two more here. X2s. 1800 seconds. 16% increased crit damage. 2% uh, focus blow. 16% faster reload. And one 600 minutes, 10% increased skill gain. So that's kind of, you know, okay. Uh, we have 28 pet name tags. Uh, fortunately, I'm clicking on it. Nothing's happening. Last time I looked, you could sell these things. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know really what that... There we go. Six... <laughs> Is that right? Six and a half million percent. <laughs> uh, okay. So you can sell these bad boys. Oh, finally! Lady Jennifer Art wins it with Corda Turgus. There's no prize. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> no price. Right, let's, uh, okay, I'll put the other ones in my box. So, what have we got here? We've got, uh, too many. Right, doggies. How many doggies have we got here? Sorry, I'm going to have to rearrange these because uh, unfortunately scrolling stuff in here, it just doesn't work very well. Um, it's not smooth. <laughs> Which is quite sad. Yeah, um, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. The fact that I listen to sounds on TV that keep cropping up and thinking, oh, that sounds in Entropia Universe uh, makes me feel really sad. So we have two, four, six, eight, eight dogs, one panda, which is interesting, how many cats have we got, one panda, two, four, six, eight, ten cats. <clears throat> yeah, no, you don't need a life. Um, <laughs> Russian wives, org. Nice. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. Oh yeah, let's not forget the rings. 
the rings that don't rule anything. So we got a lot of these red ones this time. No green ones. Which is good because I've already got a bunch of those taming ones and to be honest I don't think I'll ever use them. Right, we got two, three, four, five, six red ones, two blue ones, and two of these uh, slate grey. I'm going by the gem colour, so slate grey one. So what are we looking at there? That's Ares, Hermetic, and Alic. <clears throat> uh, if I was going to do any, it'd be. It would be for rings, so what's the ring drop ratio? Well, let's figure it out, right? We've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rings in 300 boxes. 10 rings, 300 boxes. you have a 3% chance 3% chance of looting a ring okay so um, what's the best statistic I, I think probably you're looking at I think you probably need about 20 to 30 boxes probably to yeah to to get you know to guarantee you're going to get one <clears throat> even then that's not a guarantee actually because uh you could just be absolutely mullered on the loot and um, which i am most of the time so no is anyone going to get I don't think anyone's actually guessed correctly where I am exactly where am I exactly we already know I'm in Zom Hatton on Rocktropia but where am I exactly Anyone? I'm going to give you a clue. Okay. Zombie Kong. Now, if you don't get it now, you need to kind of visit Rocktropia and, and you know... <laughs> get to know the places you gotta go and do your tourism bit digital tourism it's the future <clears throat> well no one's guessing no one's guessing So I'm just going to have to tell you. I'm just going to have to spill the beans now. Uh, it, we've got to that time where um, we've hit the end of the stream. And we didn't loot any rare pets. We didn't loot any unlimited rings. Uh, certainly didn't get a unique ring, um, which there was absolutely no hope of getting whatsoever. So I'm now going to reveal where I am. I am on top of the Zombia State Building. And uh, I think, get my bearings right, down there is the helicopter transport which gives you, which takes you to the Zombie Kong wave spawn which happens just, just in there. So it is. Uh, it's time for my um, suicide because 
obviously the loot was just hideous you know 900 boxes in total not a single rare thing at all so it's time for me to say farewell thank you everyone for watching the stream please uh, rock up over on YouTube to my channel, the Blade of Akai channel. Unfortunately, you're going to have to kind of either find a link to it. Um, in fact, I'm going to type a link right in the chat right now. Um, if I can type, I've been clicking the mouse for so long I've forgotten how to type. There is a link uh, to my channel. In fact, that's probably going to take you straight to a subscription kind of prompt. So. If, if you don't want to subscribe, fair enough. But please subscribe, because I need subscribers. Because um, I want to get a proper URL name for my channel. Um, there are lots of videos up over there. I am trying to get more videos up all the time. Um, if you have any requests for videos, for instance, mobs that you would like to see covered, mobs you don't know enough about, that you would like to know more about um, please uh, comment on the videos I've got a thread on Planet Calypso forum um, for my channel please go and subscribe to that um, to be notified when I'm doing stuff like twitching as well um, yeah any questions just fire them over on the either the thread or on my YouTube channel and uh, I will see you either in the next stream or the next video so thanks again everyone for partaking in this stream um, sorry to bore you to death with uh, the old times and bad loot and sorry for those in the very beginning who had to put up with some of my guitar playing um, unless unless you enjoyed it I might do it again anyway thanks everyone and it's time for Harakiri bye bye